I hope it's focused because if it's not then this is going to be a very big fail. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you all see there's a new background behind and um, there's a new look on me. Today I got a haircut and I'm super excited to show it to you all. I've got a few bangs and then a few layers and then it's just straight in the ends. So I really like the haircut. She did it just the way I asked her to. So if y'all do not really succeed at salon visits then I think y'all should keep watching this video. So guys the first step for a successful salon haircut visit is to make an appointment. Never ever just walk into the salon and tell them that you know what I need a haircut right now so you know maybe you can squeeze me in between other customers or I'm just gonna wait here till you finish the line and then I can come. Do not do that because then they cut your hair in a lot of hurry and they're not sure of what they're doing and you will not end up talking to them of what kind of a haircut do you need. So main important rule is to get an appointment before going for the haircut. Number two is to wear appropriate clothes. I know this is not something that many of you all consider but it's a very important thing to do. The thing is that if you for example if you're a banker and you go for a haircut and you want a really professional haircut but you go to the salon in a very um, you know like a very chilled out manner like you're wearing track pants and then a very loose t-shirt because it's a Sunday or it's a day off and you go for a haircut so the hairdresser is gonna feel like you know you are someone who takes life really casually and easily and they're gonna give you like a funky haircut you don't want a funky haircut if you work at a bank right so dress appropriately it's boring I know but just wear the the formal clothes or whatever kind of clothes that you wear every day just wear it to the salon so then they know what kind of a personality do you want to show what kind of a person are you do you want yourself to be so then they uh, have like a guideline while cutting your hair number three is to have a proper discussion with your hairstylist or your hairdresser whoever he or she is uh, tell them what your requirements are how much time do you have every day to get ready because sometimes they give you a nice amazing blow dry and you walk out and you're so happy for two days until the day you wash your hair and then it comes back to your normal hair and the haircut looks pathetic and you're just gonna cry like buckets of water till the time it grows back so you don't want to do that so it's very difficult for you to mention how much time do you have what all tools do you have at home to style your hair so that they know that if you have like five minutes then they can't experiment with your hair but if you have like occasionally like half an hour to get ready then they can give you like a middle haircut which has like a little bit of style but still a little bit of you know subtleness so you can balance it out so it's up to them how they give it to you but it's up to you to save the embarrassment of a bad haircut and the fourth and the last step is to make sure you pay careful attention to whatever the hairdresser is doing after the haircut not many of us uh, pay attention to whether what heat tools is he using what products is he using on your hair after the haircut so someday you go home you have a party you have an occasion to attend and you try to style your hair that way but you can't because you don't know what he or she did at the salon so you can't recreate the look so it's very important for you if you can't see what he did then ask them they will very happily help you so make sure you converse with your hairdresser it's very important it's an amazing tip and it's very useful for you uh, it will save you a hell lot of embarrassment trust me so yeah those were my small tips that everyone should know about a hair cutting salon visit how to make it successful and how to not cry later on because of a little bit of your stupidity so save yourself the horror and follow these simple steps they're really easy guys it's just like a cakewalk literally a cakewalk so i hope you all like this video please give this video a very big thumbs up if you all liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, comment below let me know how you all liked it and i'll see you in my next video bye hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm with my best friend supriya and we're doing the BFF tag. 